Right. Sorry, putting my finishing touches on a couple things, a couple ground groundkeeping, um, housekeeping. All right. <laughs> Let's get into it. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Oh my goosh. Second. Ah, look at that. Ah, shit. You're here. Yo, <laughs> VO23K. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? All right. I hope you're doing well. I like your mustache. Much appreciated. Uh, thank you so much. I'm glad there's something. You know, something for everybody, right? Trust me, it has taken over my life as much as I didn't want it to become like, you know, a personality like it, I've definitely fallen into it. I love my mustache so much. Should have been around for when I used to curl. I'm good. Uh, I'm doing all right. I just woke up from a nap. Uh, got off work about an hour ago. Managed to get through my book that I have. A, I have a comic book club later tonight, so I had to read that. Managed to do that. Uh, and then I fell asleep by accident with my puppy. So, you know. Not so bad. I woke up and I was like, shoot, I gotta play Pokemon. Not like it's a bad thing. Just like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. All right, we're gonna turn this down. We're gonna turn the game up. Let's see. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Set up stuff, you know, oof. All right, here's what I want to see. So last time I played, can I tell you a, a, a weird snail fact? Absolutely, you can. Snail fact. Up. Select B. I really hope that that's a lie because I'll never be able to. Oh my God, that's so gross. I can't look at a snail again. 12,000 teeth. Are you like 100% serious? That's a little much. Oh my God. Ugh. Ugh. We're talking snails, not slugs, like shells, right? Like the, oh my God. What? Are you like a snail fan? What drew you to this fact? How do you know this? Let's see. Select is the right shift. I know it's creepy, but I can follow up with a joke. Okay, uh, please. So that I feel better now. <laughs> Slugs are just snails without a mortgage. <laughs> True. I love that. Oh, uh, okay, y'all. I can't. I can't do this right. I can't click the right combination of buttons here. Here we go. Ready? Up, shift, B. So last time I ended up dying, right? Which sucked. But uh, I don't really blame myself. So it was my first run through. Uh, my I had uh, just built up my team a little bit. I had a Slugma, a Bidoof, and my Shinx. Uh, I fucking died because my rival had a Gibble <laughs> with Dragon Rage. <laughs> what even is that? <laughs> just the unluckiest thing uh, I could have possibly um, gotten. So that sucked, but we restarted. I got a... Um, Yeah, dude, a gibble, a gibble. And I, I was like, okay, well, maybe it won't have Dragon Rage. I'm like, well, no, it does have Dragon Rage. And I was like, okay, well, maybe it won't use Dragon Rage. Took all my Pokemon, like immediately. I had my Bidoof was still alive and I was like, all right, should I see if I can like keep going? 
And I killed, because I killed the, I finally killed the Gibble, but then, like, I just could not get past the second Pokemon with my, with my, um, Padoof. Me pretending I know anything about Pokemon. So here's the thing. So since you don't know anything about Pokemon, assumedly, self-admittedly, uh, a Gibble is a dragon type base level Pokemon. So it's the first evolution. Uh, so it's not like it's a crazy Pokemon, but it's a dragon type. One of the most common dragon type moves dragon Pokemon learn early on. It's like the base move for dragon Pokemon is called Dragon Rage. It is a guaranteed 40 health damaging move. Every single time it does exactly 40 health. It doesn't matter what level you are. It doesn't have strong, matter how strong your Pokemon is. If it hits, always does 40 damage. And <laughs> Before like level 10 or 12, you will have less than 40 health total regardless <laughs> of your Pokemon. So all my Pokemon died. <laughs> and that was a little scary and a little saddening. And um, not gonna lie, I was a little upset about it. All right, yes, it worked. So I wasn't able to save next last time because of that nonsense, but I just erased the save data that there is. No, so I'll never be able to save this game. That kind of sucks. So you have to erase the game in order to redo the game, but it lets you, con it lets you play the game without saving. But then when you go to save it later, it's like, oh, just kidding, you can't, because you didn't erase your data first. So I save stated it, thinking I could go back and erase the data, but it's still, it's dumb, and I hate it. And this is what we're working with now. But it's okay. We're gonna keep going and just pray that the save state nonsense, uh, it works. And now that I'm in the game, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up chat so I can, we can talk. Let's see. Where's my stream manager? Pop out chat. Here we go. We're in this, y'all. All right, so the last time I managed to uh, find another why not, which sucked, because why not's not great, but I killed it by accident. Oh my God, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, but this time, uh, I was able to get a Larvitar to start with, which I messed up last time. Last time I thought, it, for some reason in my head, Tyranitar, which is its final form, is a dragon type, but it's not. It's not a dragon. It never becomes a dragon. It's a rock ground type that eventually becomes rock dark type, and I'm a little sad about it, but you know what? We're gonna move on. It's gonna be okay. We did get a uh, flying water type Wingle that we've named Bagel. Um, now, for you, Vio, if you're still in the chat, I just want to give you, um, let me see, I think Cam, my amazing uh, mod, put the Nuzlocke rules, if you're unfamiliar, basically, I don't know if that's the right command. There's a command somewhere in here <laughs> that was set up. Uh, so the rules for a Nuzlocke are, you can only catch one Pokemon per area, and it has to be the first one that you encounter. If you kill it or it runs away, you have lost the ability to catch a Pokemon for that area. And if a Pokemon dies or faints, or if a Pokemon faints in battle and no longer can battle, it is dead and you cannot use it anymore. If like my last game, all your Pokemon on your team faint, you have to restart the entire game. Those are the three basic things that we are using for this run. The other thing, the main thing that makes it random is that all Pokemon appearances are random. All Pokemon areas have been randomized. Uh, all trainer Pokemon have been random. So there is no way for me to know what is what I will encounter in the next area or what the trainers I will fight will have, which sucks, but is kind of cool and challenging at the same time. And I'm super down. All right, so. All things being equal. We need to go give 
arrival their package but i also need to do these trainer battles what level were my pokemon at both are level six we need to get them to level eight then we're gonna go to the next town then we're gonna go to the town I think I'm praying. Last time this guy had a crowbat and it screwed me. Oh, it's just a Rattata. We can handle a Rattata. We're gonna confuse it first. Learning supersonic, clutch. I'm so excited about supersonic. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, supersonic is a move that confuses your opponent. It gives them a chance uh, to injure themselves instead of attack uh, on their turn, which is great. It's not guaranteed, but it's a higher probability and it's fantastic and I'll take it. I'll also let you in on another fun fact about Nuzlocks. There are certain challenge types that allow you to, or that you make it so you can't use potions and such. We're not doing that in a random Nuzlocke. Mm -mm, that's too hard for our first one. <laughs> so I have potions and I will be buying a lot of potions. Trust that. All right, we're gonna supersonic again because I just like that. I feel better knowing that it's possible that they miss. Hmm. Static effects are also great because a lot of times they reduce stuff like their actual uh, abilities such as attack, defense, whatever. Like it'll actually, or speed is a big one. Makes them slower, which is in itself fantastic when you can uh, always go first, it's great. All right, we did it, y'all. Now, I think the next trainer has two. So we definitely need to level up before I feel comfortable battling the second trainer. So this is the route that I caught my Wingle in, so I no longer can catch any Pokemon here. All I can do is murder, which I'm pretty good at. His first move is gonna be Sketch. So I should get two moves back to back. Depending on how strong this is will depend on if I heal. Interesting. So Sketch will take my move and he learns it. Since I'm a water type, it shouldn't do a lot of damage and he's level four. So I think I'm comfortable taking the risk doing a second attack instead of healing. Here's where we find out. Yeah. So in Pokemon, and I'm all, I'm gonna keep speaking like um, I'm speaking to somebody who doesn't know, just, you know, in case somebody's watching who doesn't know. Uh, there are different type moves in the game. So Water Gun is, surprise, a water type move. Um, now, there is something called same type advantage, which you really want. Basically, if your Pokemon is a water type and you use a water type move, it will do more damage than if a normal type or any other type used that water type move. So Wingle, being a water type, does more damage with Water Gun than Smeargle, who stole Water Gun, can do with Water Gun. So it's very important to know. Also, it will do more damage to Pokemon like Fire types or Rock types or Ground types that are weak to water. So it's very important to have a balanced team. And that can, one, attack a lot of different Pokemon at once, like take on a lot of different types, and a team that can, uh, what's it called? 
defend against a lot of different types. It's really a, a hard battle. And especially with a Nuzlocke slash where you can only catch one per area, it's really hard to, de to develop an actually well-rounded team. My last game I had uh, a normal type, a electric type, and a fire type. And I was lucky. I think I had, had another normal type as well, but it had died because I'm irresponsible. All right, so this Pokemon, I believe, has, uh, what's it called? Uh, paralyze, uh, poison, or not poison powder. Paralyzed powder or whatever it's called. But I could be wrong. But I also think, feel like it has effects for, so we don't want to use physical moves on it because its ability will leave us with a status effect, which not bueno. Mm. This one doesn't have effect spore. This one has dry skin, which is very interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that Parasus could have that ability. This is where a flying type move would be great. We're going to use bite on it and pray that it doesn't have absorb. I don't think it should have absorb. Let's see. Oh, thank God. All right, Scratch and Rock type, it should be fine. I should have a decent defense against it. Oh, also, as part of a Nuzlocke challenge, uh, it's highly encouraged that you name every single Pokemon. Supposedly, you know, you develop an attachment to it, so you make it, you, you don't want it to die, obviously. Uh, for the purpose of this challenge, I am soliciting names from chat for Pokemon that I catch. So, Fuck Class was um, a... Uh, <laughs> solicitation from uh, Cameron, my mod, which was great. <laughs> so Vio, if you're still out there, I know you said you don't know uh, a lot about uh, Pokemon. Is there any games that you enjoy playing? I, I might, or that you grew up playing? I myself was a heavy Pokemon kid, like completely into it. And I was also surrounded by a lot of friends who were also heavily into Pokemon. So it was very easy to become all about Pokemon. <laughs> but I also grew up in the golden age when like Pokemon's original series was coming out. Johto Journeys was uh, coming out. The prime of the Game Boy Color. Oof. What a time to be alive. Let me tell you. I remember... Ooh, sketched me. Oh, interesting. I had Pokemon. The first game I ever played on a Game Boy, I remember the two games were Zelda Link's Awakening and it was the original Game Boy, the big fat black and white one. And then Pokemon Red version. Oof. Deep. Hours of joy. Dun, 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 dun. We really lucked out with two different types, which is helpful. Larvitar will be more helpful once it learns a ground move. I'll really like it. If I can get it a dig or something, that'll be so clutch. But flying in rock ground, not too bad to start off with. I just needed to learn like wing attack or peck or something. I could have had an Azuril. Interesting. Not a big Azuril fan, but I remember when uh, Azumarill came out, I think, in Hoenn was the first one. I used that thing till the end of the game. That thing was great. It's a water type for those who uh, might not infer it from the blue color. <laughs> oh, it's just the cutest thing. 
So this isn't going to do great. So same type advantage will do it. So I do more damage, but it's also a water type. So it takes less damage from water type move or not takes less, but it's not affected by it. The three different ways are not very or doesn't affect, not very effective, effective, super effective. So this would be a not very effective situation. But we made it work. A couple more good fights. And we have a level eight, which is great. I'm already making way better progress than I did last game. Last time I spent the whole time grinding to beat my rival. So that right after this first city that we're going to come up to is the first rival battle. And he just wiped the floor with me. I'll, I'll show you again. You remember I said about the, the 48, the 40 uh, damage it does automatically. Note, <laughs> we're only at 24 HP. <laughs> One Dragon Rage is just death. And I'm pretty sure my rival will have Dragon Rage at one point because I think he took the trappage that I should have taken, which eventually will become a Dragon type. Hopefully by the time it evolves at like level 20, whatever, I will have plenty of health to be able to tank a Dragon Rage and hopefully kill his Pokemon. We shall see. All right, we did it. I think this should be level eight for Bagel. Yes. We have a level 8 bagel, y'all. The highest level bagel you've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're gonna switch out into fuck class. We really need to get fuck class up. Level 8. Not the best um, typing we could have gotten. But you know what? We make it work. That should be alright. We win this on power alone. Nice! Alright. It's not gonna give me a lot of HP though. The last Paris I think I beat. It didn't give me much, I don't I don't think. It's like 40? 30. Well. Okay. Need a smear girl. That thing was 60. That thing is boosted. Oh, this is dangerous. We are not doing this. My rock ground type, it will be four times <laughs> affected against the water type wingle. So we need to get the hell out of this! Please, 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 live, 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 live. <sighs> no bueno, we're not doing this this time. <laughs> I am not going to suffer another loss. Bagel, murder this wingle. <laughs> My level advantage should be enough that this should... Okay, yeah. This should do decent. Too scary. <laughs> Come on. So the one thing that sucks is my team is kind of uh, not great against grass yet. Bagel will be better once it can learn a flying type move, but um, it's still gonna be effective. Uh, grass is still gonna be effective against it. So I need to get something that's gonna be helpful against grass because that's a major kink in my, uh, my armor at the moment. Right. Dun, 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 dun. 
Alright. We should be alright. Alright, I feel like if I kill two more Parises, I should be okay. One Smeargle would be- Oh no, it's gonna be like three Parises. Ugh. Oh, pardon me? Oh, sorry about that. Woo! Yep, there's the effects for it. I knew it had the paralyzed one. So that will reduce my speed and also make it so I have a chance to uh, be paralyzed and not be able to hit. See? Would have been a nice actual um, Pokemon to have, an ability to have. Supersonic is great, don't get me wrong. I love confusing Pokemon, but um, an effect that lasts longer, like paralysis, which doesn't go away, uh, would have been great. <sighs> One day, hopefully. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, we're gonna bite the Smeargle. This should take us to level seven, but it might not because we are paralyzed and that scares me a little bit. Oh shoot, it's already, oh yeah, does Sketch only have one use and it missed? Interesting. I explained this in the last game. Smeargle is an interesting Pokemon that has a, a, a it only has a move called Sketch. Basically, if it uses it, it can copy whatever move you just used, and it'll have it forever. It keeps it. Um, and it, so basically, you can build a Smeargle with whatever you want. The downside is it's not like great in terms of stats or anything. It doesn't evolve. It doesn't get any stronger, really. And it's a normal type, so same type attack bonuses won't ever apply. Uh, unless it takes normal moves. Um, but it seems that Sketch only has one use, and whenever your Pokemon runs out of power points for all of its moves, it only can use Struggle. Which is an attack, but it does severe recoil damage to the user. It's a last ditch effort, basically. You run out of all options, the game gives you a, an out to either die <laughs> or successfully kill the opponent. Oh, so it's going to use it again, so it missed its sketch, which is interesting. This is the first time I've seen that happen, this one and the last one. Nice! Alright, another 60, maybe 45? It's only level 3. 45. Okay. Not great. But it's something. We're very close to beating the second trainer. We're gonna go to the trainer school, give our rival his shit, go catch a new um, Pokemon. We'll get the rod and I can use it in the little uh, fishing area, which is gonna be nice. And um, battle the two trainers there. Hopefully catch a new Pokemon. So hopefully we'll have two new Pokemon before we fight our rival for the first time. But I'm hoping to get all that done today i want to get two new pokemon beat the rival that's the goal for this stream do what i d wasn't able to do last time <laughs> all right dun, 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 dun. we should get a bleachers channel Interesting. Oh, that's my Discord. My uh, my friend group. We have a little chat together. For those of you who don't know, Bleachers is an amazing band that you should all listen to. Alright. 
Absolutely not. We're switching immediately because this thing could spell doom for us with one water gun. Let's see. I assume this is a bleacher's image. Oh, we're getting a new album soon. It's going to be great. He's teasing it. Uh, I cannot wait till I can go to a Bleachers concert again. That is really going to be the signal that like things are getting better is when we can safely go to an outdoor events. Also when people aren't dying, I guess. That's really bad. Come on, Bagel! Do it for me. Absolutely crushed it. You can't be Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> I love the name Bagel. All right, fuck class got 13. Not great, but it's something. You know, we'll take something over nothing. We're not at the the chance that the stage where we're like picky about it yet. Okay, well maybe we are because this is gonna be irritating. Let's see. Uh, no, it's not worth the risk of trying to fight it for 26 points <laughs> and possibly dying for 26 experience. Let's see. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Lowers my attack, which is fine because I'm using a special attack, so it doesn't even matter. Come on, come on. Nobody ever answered me in the last one, and I really hope somebody eventually does. Am I weird for like, am I the only person who, when they play Pokemon, just like taps the A button over and over and over, or the B button even? Just like, when, even when there's not an ability to move the thing forward, just like waiting, like I'm just that impatient that I have to like keep hitting it until it gives me the ability to move on. Oh, another Azuril. Last time it only knew Splash, so I think we're gonna take the risk. I think we could tank at least one Water Gun, but I don't think it knows Water Gun. But I also don't think it gave us great H uh, XP anyway. Oh, it flinched. Nice, good side effect of Bite. Yes! All right. Dun 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 I love my little hat in this game. I also love that my hair is blue? Question mark? <laughs> Larvitar. I remember when Larvitar came out and Tyranitar came out. Gen 2. Oh, everybody wanted a Larvitar. Everybody wanted a fucking Tyranitar. That thing was a monster. Oh. All right, this should take me over the, the border. I should be over to level eight with this, I hope. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on! Yup! Nice! Alright, let's go beat that second trainer now. The first thing we're gonna- I'm pretty sure this trainer has two Pokemon. Which means that they should probably be less than level 5. 
but it also means it could be literally anything. That's the issue with uh, random, is it could be a full evolved, like a full stage two Pokemon, uh, which is cool, but also scary because full stage Pokemon, even at level, you know, like whatever, no matter what the level is, uh, are gonna have better stats than my base level Pokemon. <laughs> Please let me run away. Please let me run away. Please, I'm gonna hit it and we're gonna see what happens. Please let me run away. There's no reason it shouldn't. Thank God. Okay. Here we go. Second trainer battle. We're gonna go Tyrana. We're gonna go Larvitar out first. And we're gonna hope. Dun -dun. Yep, two Pokemon. Ninkata, not bad. It's a bug type. Level three, easy. Bite the crap out of this. Take a fucking bite out, rip its head off. Nice, flinch, love to see it. Use bite again, very cool. All right, one down. Last time this gave me such problems. Cherubi, ooh, this. This could be a problem. That's a grass type. I'm going to assume it has absorb. I don't think it's smart for me to send in my wingle. I have, I have double type disadvantage though. I'm just praying that my bite is enough to either flinch and that it's grass type move won't fucking hurt me, please. Oh, it's just tackle. Thank God. All right. A lot of hype for nothing. We got it! We got this! This round is gonna be easy. Nice. It's later, Natalie. Alright. We didn't really take any damage, so I'm gonna go... Oh my god. Oh shit, there's a third trainer. Oh no, I was not prepared for this, but we're gonna do it anyway. Probably be a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. I didn't realize there was a third. Metatite. Okay, fighting psychic type. Mm, my bite? I can't remember if dark is good against psychic or if it's the other way around. All I know is that I shouldn't be... Oh no, you know what? If it has a fighting type move, I am in trouble because I think fighting is good against rock. We'll see. Flying is good against... Uh, bo uh, against... Fighting. But I don't have a flying move yet. Ugh. But we're good, we're good. We, we win. We win. Got that. Hell yeah. That might be level 9? I don't know. No, not quite level 9. Nice. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I don't know if this is going to be a one hit KO or not. Am I going to get effects board? Oh, I didn't get effects board. That's good. Okay. So we've officially Beaten all the trainers. Is this a paralyzed heal or what is this? I don't think that trainer is a trainer battle trainer. I'm pretty sure he's like an advice trainer. Oh gosh, this is a new town. You just stumbled across. Welcome new trainer. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're in a good spot, y'all. I'm pretty happy with how this run's turning out so far. Granted, I've literally only been to one town so far. <laughs> and it's the start town. It's not even like the first, it's just like the initial town where the professor lives. All right, it's a potion. Cool, cool, cool. I think we have five now. Yep, so, okay, morning and night. Cool, interesting. Actually important to know. Fun fact, if you see a little divot like this, usually there's something in the open space. Always check, see? 
They don't put that there for nothing. This is usually like an item finder spot. There's an, uh, an item that lets you find new items that are like lying in the ground that you can't see. I know there's a trainer school. Matthew's there, I know. I'm gonna go beat him. Cause I'm the best trainer. I will be the greatest Pokemon trainer there ever was. Restore my Pokemon to full health. Thank you. Yep, yep. Okay, I don't think any of these people are going to give me something. I think the one house on the right gives me Silk Scarf. Pretty sure one of these people gives me the silk scar. Yeah, oh, quick claw, not silk scarf. That'll be a really helpful item, hopefully. If I get any slow Pokemon, it will be game changing. Um, the first thing we're gonna do before we go do trainer battle stuff is I want to go catch our third Pokemon. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna grab the old rod from this guy. Nice. Let's go fish. So, usually there's three different rods. Old, good, and super. Old rod, you catch garbage. Good rod, you catch, like, something decent, maybe. And then super rod is where you get Pokemon that are actually worth a damn. But, in this, you don't have to worry because all Pokemon are random. So, I might not even catch a water Pokemon or a fish Pokemon. I might catch a ground type in the water. Who knows? One randomized... Uh, so I can't run into legendary. I set it to where you can't run into just legendaries out in the wild because that would be a little ridiculous. Um, but I did catch a Groudon one time, which is like the magma, like <laughs> ground type lives in volcanoes Pokemon. And I thought that was funny. So we're just going to sit here till we get a nibble. Last time I think it was an Iggly buff in the water that we caught. Which wasn't great, but it would have given us the ability to put Pokemon to sleep, which is ultimately great. Sing is... oof. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, a Cleffa. I like this better. I prefer Clefairy to, Clef uh, to Jigglypuff anyway. Stronger in my opinion. Oh shit, it's level 8. I didn't even see that. Oh no. Oh, this thing might put up a fight. Oh no. Here's the thing. Do I go for a second one? I think we go for a ball here. Pray with me. This will be a sick catch. This will be a great, great catch. Yes! <laughs> It's a level eight catch, which already in itself is great. I don't have to train it up to where I am. Thank the Lord. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it's making wild Pokemon to my level. That's interesting. Oh, that's so good. But I always run the risk of killing them if I go too low. And if you go too low, then oh. is anybody in chat? That's the first thing we need to find out. Is anybody out there? Uh, I usually defer naming to chat, but if they're not, we will do this to ourselves. So I'm going to go with... Uh, bo -bo -bo -bo. A little... Should I do a Fairly Odd Parents reference to anybody who knows Fairly Odd Parents? The boy... Chin... Wait, no, we're gonna do so. Uh, in Fairly Odd Parents, what the superhero is the Crimson Chin, and his sidekick is Cleft, the Boy Chin Wonder. So we're gonna do Cleffa, Boy Chin Wonder. All right, let us pause.
whilst I create for us an amazing, amazing, it's not that amazing. Um, basically, I got to put together the graphic for the thing you see where they're all moving up there, my whole little team. So we're going to put that together here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. where's my direct messages with Cam? I think I sent him the link. I did. I did send him the link. I did. I did see a putty cap. Oh, here, let's turn this back up while we're waiting. Let's see. Cleffa, I believe, is a Gen 3? Because it was with all the babies. Or no, is Cleffa a Gen 4 Pokemon? Cleffa might be a Gen 4, because that's when all the babies came out. I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. I don't see it here with all the babies, so I think it might be Gen 3 or Gen 5. No, it's definitely not Gen 5, so I'm, let's go Gen 3. Let's see. I don't think it's Gen 3 because I'm pretty sure Gen 3 was all new Pokemon. Gen was this? Yeah, Gen 5 was all region locked too. So I think it has to be Gen 4. It's here somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. Can we talk about how cool shiny Luxray is? Oh, I would kill. So there's Mime Jr. There's Hepinny. Was it a Gen 2 edition? Maybe it was Gen 2. And I'm full of myself. It was Gen 2. Oh. Because that's that's when baby Pokemon really started, you know? You know? We're going to download this. Save image. Go in here. want to download save that we're gonna go into my stream elements <laughs> I love that lo-fi Pokemon is a thing <laughs> let's see we're going to overlays Pokemon diamond Go in here, go to slot. Enter a new image. We're going to set it as Pwing. Where is my new Cleffa? Submit. Let's see, we got to go. And now we have Cleffa on the team, y'all. Welcome, Boychin Wonder. Now I just gotta go back here, rename this. 
Cleffa. Put it where it belongs. Cool. Nice. All right. Go back to my chat now. Cool. That was a good little side mission. Let's uh, inspect our new teammate, right? Let's see what he's got. Because I think it was a boy that I caught. It was a boy. Oh, it has a moonstone, so it can already evolve into its final form, which is phenomenal. Clefable is honestly everything. Pokemon only takes damage from attacks. Oh, so I'll ne Oh, I have magic guard. That's such a cool ability. I'll never take poison damage or uh, paralysis damage. Or not paralysis damage. Um, poison damage or um, I think confusion damage, which is nice. Uh, pound, charm, encore, and sing. Yes. Okay, we are in a good spot, y'all. We're in a good spot. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna go do the delivery, do the trainer school. Um, get the poke etch. Hopefully catch our fourth. Should we catch the fourth before I battle the trainer school? But we'll go we'll go do the, the, the delivery first. Go catch the Pokemon, because since Cleffa is the same level, I don't really need to raise it to everything else, but I want the other Pokemon to be getting levels now. So it does it's not as hard right before the the the, the final battle, you know? Let's see what we got. Here we go. Did you come to study? I went ahead and memorized everything. Yada, yada, yada. I know how to do poison damage. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Here's your parcel. He's like, oh, I don't need this. I have two. Here's a town map for you. Thank you. And now I got to go to Orberg. He's going to wait for me on the road. It's kind of frustrating. So those are the two trainers that I'm going to fight later. They're really fucking hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm kind of glad with Cleffa too because it. Re I finally have something that's like negligible. You know, like um, the other two have really bad weaknesses and stuff. Cleffa's only weakness is to fighting, so I don't have to worry as hard. I can send it in when other when everything else has a weakness, which is good. All right, he wants me to do the clown bullshit. Let's go do the clown bullshit. Dun, dun, dun. Poketech clown, can I hold? Yep, you're right. Thank you. Here's a ticket. Coolio, come here. Oh, come here, clown. Yep, here's number two. Now let's go get the final one. Wrap this little adventure up. Where is the other one? Where the hell did that other one go? Oh shoot. Oh, I forgot this was here. The GTS, yeah, I don't have any gym badges. I can't go trade Pokemon. Sad. Oh, there he is. Yep, thank you. Cool. Got all the coupons. Let's go get our Poketch. Bravo, here's your Poketch. Get it? It's Pokey Watch. Poketch. I love how I have to watch him walk off. All right, cool. It's interesting that that's actually the correct time. Step counter, cool, cool. Oh, that's the one I want actually. There we go. Now I can see my team health, which is what's actually important. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, I'm of the mindset of Let's go ahead and try to capture our fourth Pokemon. All right, just turn night. So we're going to have a different option from what it normally would be. <gasps> yes. 
Yes! And I have a Moonstone. Oh, this is game changer. We can get a Nidoking. Nidoking is one of my favorite top five Pokemon of all time. Love Nidoking. Oh, Pokemon rules is what it is. Can you change the title of the video, Cam? To reflect that? Thank you. Oh, and it knows Peck. That's helpful. I'm sure it has Poison Point too, which will be really nice. Uh, I did not lose any Pokemon yet. I didn't kill any Pokemon and none of them fainted yet. I caught a Cleffa is my latest capture. Level eight, one Pokeball, one attack. It was brilliant. And now I've got a Nidoran. Please give me a Nidoran. If I catch a Growlithe in this play somehow, I swear, or an Arcanine even, I'll settle for an Arcanine even though it won't have the moves I want. I will settle. I will take it. Arcanine's my number one favorite Pokemon, by the way, in case you didn't know. All right, I only have two Pokeballs left, please. Cam, do you want to do the Nidoran one for my stream elements, or are you about to be busy? Also, I need a nickname for this Nidoran. Okay, I'll, I'll handle it, Cam. Don't worry about it. Um, what's the nickname for Nidoran? Um, I'm thinking... Uh... I need a good Nidoran name. What is a good Nidoran name? Mm. Um... What if I name it Nidoran, but the female version? <laughs> the little female symbol. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, since I don't have great chat name at the moment, I'm gonna go with what I think would be funny. It's not that funny, but I think it's funny. We're gonna call him Fido. Oh my God, this makes me so happy. We're gonna put Sleepy Nido Ran up front so we can switch him out and do um, little fun battles. First things first though, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the um, Cleffa. Let's add Nido Ran to the team. Wait, that's what a Lolan Sand Slash looks like? Interesting. It's kind of cute. Save image as Nidoran. Wait, did that say female? This is not the female Nidoran, you liar. All right, let's see. We're gonna go back here, choose a file. We're gonna choose Nidoran. Upload. Save this, go to stream elements, new image, set as we're going to upload it. Boom. We're going to Scale it.
There we go. Hit save on this bad boy, and voila, we have a Nidoran, y'all. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's go back to chat. All right, y'all. Oh, time and place for that. Not here. Paralysis heals, which is nice, but nothing is guaranteed to paralyze us right now. Normally the game gives you items that is helpful in the moment that you're in. Like now would be a, probably a point where people are using, uh, like this is I think where Badoos would normally be, which uh, uses Stun Spore a lot, which will paralyze you, which sucks. Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready? Hope to see you again. Look at that, we got a full health. Need a run. All right, I think, I think. Are we ready for the trainer school? Let's double check my bag. We have six potions. I should be okay. We're gonna do a Nidoran switch at the beginning. I'm pretty sure he just has one level six. I have three level eights. No! I don't know what to do here, y'all. I don't know what to do. Somebody's gonna die. Somebody's dying here. I think it, I think Gibble's ground type. I think Gibble's ground type. If I can, if I can get him to miss one. Okay, okay, okay. Am I faster? Am I faster? That's the real question. Am I faster? That's not enough damage. Oh, oh we're kind of screwed here, y'all. Oh no. Please, Bagel, please, Bagel, please, Bagel, thank God. No Dragon Rage. I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know why this couldn't have happened in my first playthrough. If I see a goddamn Gibble, I swear to God. There's just like nothing to do about that because I won't be above 40 until like level 15 and I can't sit here and grind. I mean, I can sit here and grind till 15, but like that would take ages. It's just like, it would not be fun. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I will say that went easier than my first battle with uh, that guy. I think one of these guys had an Empoleon. Shit was hard to beat. Here we go. I think I get hidden power from one of these two, which might be nice to use on Cleffa. Honestly, it might be good on Larvitar because Larvitar is not gonna have a great move set. Oh, you know what? This is perfect. We got this. It can't hit. It's not gonna have any ground moves, I don't think. Ah, oh, shit. But it does have Sandstream, which doesn't, isn't that bad. I do have Larvitar. But Bagel's gonna do more damage. We're gonna go into Bagel. It'll take damage from the Sandstorm, but it should be super effective on Hippopotas. And it shouldn't, if it does have a ground type move, it shouldn't be able to use it. Not that it sh would, but could. I don't know what level one Hipp Hippopotas has. Let's see. Nice. I forget this game is running in like surround, so I'm not hearing half of like 
I'm hearing my attacks on him, but not his attacks on me. It's very strange. So I have to have both headphones in. Nice. Okay. Good, 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 good. Fido already at level six. I wonder when it's going to learn Poison Sting, or if it already knows Poison Sting. Here you go. Here's TM. TM10, y'all. Cleffa learns metronome. Alright, one thing we're gonna buy now, before I forget, I only have one Pokeball on me. And that's a dangerous game, because if I can't catch the Pokemon, I'm gonna be screwed. So, we're gonna spend at least a thousand right now on Pokeballs, just so I have them when I'm ready to catch. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go into the TV station. Oh, just kidding. This clown won't let us. Literally clowning around. I don't think anybody in there gives us anything. I don't think there's any other houses to venture into besides that one. We got the quick claw. So we should be okay. We're gonna train. Once I get Fido up to eight, I'll feel more comfortable. Oh, a Caterpie. A Butterfree could have been actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It wouldn't have been great, but it would have been cool. I'm not mad about Fido though. I will take Fido. <laughs> Nidoran always. Oh, it has Peck, I forgot. It's also going to learn Double Kick, which is going to be so good. Nitto Ran has such a great learn set, in my opinion. But we needed to learn something else. Poison Sting is, I think, it's what's next. But we got to be careful. Did we ever actually... I didn't actually ever check, did I? What is my ability? Rivalry. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think... I kind of wish it was Poison Point, not gonna lie. I love a Poison Point. Whenever some... Basically, Poison Point, every, anytime uh, somebody uses a physical attack on you, they have a chance to get poisoned, which is fantastic. Poisoning without having to do anything is great, and it's a great defense mechanism as well. It's trying to lower my defense and peck the shit out of me. Yup, but I think I should outpeck him. Also, my rivalry should kick in and give me extra attack, because it's the same gender. Level seven. Oh, focus energy. Okay, not great. It just makes crits easier, which is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Crits are nice, but uh, we're gonna go heal, get him to level eight, maybe get everybody to nine. I'd feel more comfortable with them on nine. I'd really feel more comfortable with them on ten, but that's a lot of grinding. I think what we might do is get him to eight, go do the trainer battles on this route, then return to do another battle with uh, the rival. Because by the time I do the trainer battles, they should be nine. Uh, 
I'm very curious what fish are in this route or what Pokemon I could catch on a rod. Should I like this is gonna be a really interesting thing is because like is the rod is it is it gonna be beneficial for me to use my rod everywhere instead of running the grass? Cause it could be any Pokemon, any of these. Albeit it has to be it's tied to the level of the area, so it's always gonna be at least the same strength as what was normally there. What is it? Let's see. Oh, a Silcoon! Oh, a Cascoon! Oh, Poison fly uh, Flying would have been nice. But we're gonna have Poison Ground, and I prefer that every day. But right now it's a Bug-type. Let's see... So this is going to be an annoying battle, but usually they give good experience. I'm expecting like 90 from this, maybe 70. 70 is probably smarter. It is level 6 though. I don't think 90 is unrealistic. I have left how many PP is peck oh I have a shit ton left okay this is number seven yeah that's seven so the, the last it'll take eight pecks to kick this thing's ass how much how much is this gonna be enough 61 really I thought you were better than that but okay we're still level eight I'll still take it. Now, it didn't do any damage to us, and we didn't lose that many PP, but we're gonna go heal anyway, just because I'm superstitious. And then we're gonna go do a trainer battle, which scares the living Christ out of me. Once I get stronger than 40 HP, I'll feel a lot better. Because I'll know at least I can take a Dragon Rage. The game will be a little more playable at that point. I won't have to worry about every single counter <sighs> come on, come on. I think it's level six or seven Pokemon it scares me a little bit one okay okay so it means it's probably a higher level. Cherubi. I should be okay because I, I have my peck, which is super effective against grass. Yep. All right. Whew. Awesome, Paul. 3031. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing well today. Um, since you're new here, uh, and turn this down just a tad bit. Uh, my name's Mike. I do a variety of uh, <laughs> content streams on here, but um, every Tuesday is Pokemon Nuzlocke. So if Pokemon's your thing, I am glad you're here to to see it. Oh, I'm doing great today. I get the I get to play Pokemon. I have my book club today. Oh yes. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a good day for me. Double kick. This playthrough is going so uh, so much better. Uh, in all, um, in, in full disclosure, <laughs> this is the second run through. I have lost uh, right before this. Uh, not very much. I didn't get much further than I am right now. <laughs> I lost to a Gibble with Dragon Rage, and it sucked. But my team is looking so much better already. I'm feeling better about my odds. Ugh. But yeah, um, I appreciate you being here, Paul. 
Are you uh, are you a Pokemon fan? If not, we do a lot of stuff here. Play Catan's on uh, Colonist or Catan, whichever one you like to call it, uh, on the weekends. Uh, Star Wars. We do Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, Disco Elysium. Oh, you've been a fan. Same, dude. I was talking about this. I still remember. Uh, Fun fact, well, not a fun fact. I remember I played this. The first game I ever played of Pokemon was Pokemon Red on an original Game Boy when I was like way too young. Uh, I learned how to read by playing Pokemon. Supposedly, like I wanted to know what they were saying. So I taught myself how to like, not taught myself, but I like made an effort to learn to read so I could play Pokemon. Um, and I remember specifically, I used to play Red version like a fanatic. I wasn't good at it. I remember having like, a level 40 Charizard and everything else was like level 10 because I only used my Charizard. But I remember specifically one instance where I got, we were driving home from a uh, trip to Tennessee and we got into a really bad car accident. We went spiraling off the road into a ditch, like full spin, like it with the whole nine yards. I was playing Pokemon and did not recognize it. I think it was like four at the time. I looked up and all of a sudden, like everybody's screaming, freaking out. And I was like, what happened? I had no idea what was going on. That's how engrossed I was in Pokemon. Pokemon was my life as a kid. Not that, like again, not that I was good at it, just that I played it all the time. Have you, have you done any kind of Nuzlocke before, Paul? Let's see, we're gonna go uh, Bidoof. You already have some good levels. Oh, feel free to ask me anything. Absolutely, man. I pr love that. Open book. Oh. Have you done a Nuzlocke before? Are you familiar with... Oh, uh, I wouldn't know how. Oh, <laughs> so the basic rules, I think they're in the chat earlier. Um, hold on, let me... Let me bring up the basic rules that I'm following. Boom. So basically, I love a Nuzlocke challenge. I've been doing them on my own and I've never streamed one. This is the first one I've ever streamed. Um, but I've been doing them. They're really cool. It makes the games kind of fun to do. You have to have a little more um, perspective on like what moves you're using, what Pokemon you're using, etc. But basically, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead and you can't use it. You can only catch one Pokemon uh, for each route and it has to be the first encounter. If you kill whatever Pokemon you get on your first encounter or you run away or it runs away, you cannot catch a Pokemon there anymore. So it reduces the amount of Pokemon you're able to catch. Um, and then if your entire team faints, you have to restart the game, which is what I had to do, which sucked. <laughs> but we've also done a little 180 and randomized Pokemon Diamond. So uh, all Pokemon trainers have random Pokemon. All routes have random Pokemon. So I can't prepare. I don't know that, which is half the fun for me because I find myself always looking at like Wikipedia or what is it? Bulbapedia for like, okay, what's on this route? What's on this route? And I can kind of like cheat my way through a Nuzlocke, but this way you have no idea. You never know what's going to come next and it's fantastic and scary. And I love it. Oh, yes. Highly recommend. I think this year, I, I think I said it before on a stream, which was with uh, the pandemic, I consumed a lot more... Um, YouTube content and one of the things that I found a lot was a lot of these challenges and it really inspired me to do more. I, I think I've done a couple. You're an open book. Nice. All right. So is this, do you, do you like, uh, do you watch a lot of, uh, Pokemon content? Like what brought you here? How'd you find me? I'm very excited to know. Mainly because I want to know where my audience comes from. I'm very excited to, to reach out to more people. Oh, Ninkata could have been really cool. It's a two for one Pokemon. But we got Fido and Fido is the best. I thought Fido was the best. Fido, what are you doing? Kill this Ninkata. Bisexual, I feel drawn to more. Oh, awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I tagged that just because, you know, I want people to know that they can have a, a community here. Um, I myself in it, my gay streamer. My boyfriend is my mod. He's in the other room in school on his computer. That's awesome. I'm glad you're able to find more uh, LGBT content creators and streamers. 
I think that's one of the benefits to um, Twitch. YouTube obviously has a lot of benefits in its back. You look like Freddy. <laughs> that's it. okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, that's a high compliment. Thank you. I don't think my mustache is nearly Freddy enough, but I like it. I like it. Sorry, this is me looking at my. I have a TV up here uh, with my stream open on it, so I can see kind of what you guys are seeing. So that's how I look at myself. <laughs> Speaking of Freddie Mercury, I still need to watch that. We have the movie. We have the, what is it, Bohemian Rhapsody with Rami Mount. I really want to watch it. Looked like such a great movie. But yeah, I think, like I was saying, I think one of the things that Twitch has over YouTube is the ability to tag your content. Because YouTube has the, the algorithm, which is great. It makes things easy to pop off, but the, the um, Tagging your content is great. Like not a lot of people use it, I don't think, but it's really nice so that people know kind of what to expect from the beginning. That's why I really like putting that in there. So people know from the start, like, oh, okay, this is a place that, you know, might have LGBTQ friendly content. Might be a safe place. Oh, hydrate. Oh, Paul, hold on one second. I gotta, I'm all out of, uh, This one's for you, Paul. Normally, I've been drinking more water, but I got up early for work today. Did a lot. And I need the caffeine right now to keep me going. <laughs> um, let's see. But that's really cool. I'm glad you're able to find more LGBTQ streamers. I know it's always been a big thing that I've always wanted to to be able to find more than just like, what's the pop? Oh, Cherubi would have been really cool. Then what's like the popular one? Cause it's, there's an entire community out there that doesn't get necessarily exposed. Kill it. Kill it, Fido. <laughs> I am so glad that I was able to get a Nidoran. <laughs> So what do you got going on, Paul? Where, where are you located? And by that, I don't mean like you need to tell me where you live, but like, uh, what time is it where you are? I have a, for my Catan community that I play with, there's a lot of people who are like from other countries. So it's like crazy time. I, we were trying to play games and I guess now would be like very much nighttime for them. <laughs> so I'm curious to know what kind of, t what time it is for you over there right now for uh, me, it's like 630. I got about 30 more minutes of this semi. Before I gotta get to my I'm in a speaking of LGBTQ groups, I'm in an LGBTQ comic book club. Born in England, live in Ireland, time here. Yeah, see I knew. Yep. A lot of people overseas. That's cool though. I have a buddy who's moving to um Scotland in August for his uh degree program, so it gives me the excuse I've literally never been overseas before. And I really want to go. So that'll give me my first excuse to travel to uh, another country. Very excited. That's awesome, Paul. Let me see. How far up can I go? Is there another challenger up here? Oh, yep, there is. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna do this battle. Larvitar. Oh, wow. Did you get yours from the professor too? That'd be awesome. Yeah, I have another friend. My One of my other friends went to Ireland. Uh, well, two of them. They went together. They had a really good time. Uh, I think from what I heard, though, they also like almost got blown off of a mountain or cliff or some nonsense because of a storm. I don't know. Also, one of my other friends went to Ireland and met his now wife there. Like Ireland is the place to go, apparently. Why did I just use Peck on a ground type? Ugh. Brett! Brett, you're in the ch- <laughs> Oh no! That's the friend I was talking about who got blown off- who almost got blown off a mountain or whatever. If-, if Correct me if I'm wrong, Brett. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the story. <laughs> oh god. 
What good timing, Brett. Not Sandstorm. Fuck Sandstorm. Truly once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> See, these are the reasons I need not Mike exposing you. I'm just relating to, you know, my new follower, Paul. We're having a good conversation about Ireland. Apparently it's the spot to go. Everybody goes to Ireland. Paul, I gotta come to Ireland. You gotta show me around. Oh, I got 112. Nice. Is there anything up here? Oh, oh, it's a cave entrance. We're not gonna go in there right now. All right, I feel kind of confident. I have two level eights, a level nine, and a level ten. We're gonna do the. F We're gonna do the rival battle. Hopefully, he doesn't have a gibble this time. But we're gonna prep for it in case he does. Would be delighted. Nice! No! I could have my own Gibble! What? I'm mad about this. I'm so mad about this. I could have caught my own Gibble? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have the Nidoran, but I'm mad about it. If I don't get to run away right now, I swear to God... God, thank God. I'm really mad that I didn't get the Gibble. <laughs> not gonna lie. I love Nidoran and I'm so glad I got Nidoran. Nidoran is, would have been my choice, but had I known there was a Gibble, I probably would have preferred the Gibble. Early game, Gibble would murder everything. Absolutely carry my team. <sighs> that would have been nice. All right, here we go. Paul. Hopefully, if I beat this rival battle, I'll get to catch a Pokemon and you will be able to name it. I'm gonna give you the naming rights. So start thinking of fun names. Here we go. Um, I think we're gonna go... We're gonna put Bagel out first in case it is Gibble so that we can immediately water gun that shit. Here we go. Do you even need to ask? Of course you got tougher. Let's battle it out. All right, Matthew, show me what you got. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Not a gibble this time, but okay. What do I use on him? Could be worse. Oh, no, no, Meryl's not bad. I'm just like, you know, I could have had anything up front. Anything but Larvitar. Fido probably would have been the best option. I'm going to double kick this guy because I can't remember if Meryl is both normal water or just water. If it's normal water, double kick should nail this thing. No, it's not normal. Okay, good to know. I think level 11 he learns Poison Sting, if I'm not mistaken. I love me a good Poison Sting. I love a Toxic more. Once I get Toxic, ooh, the game's over. Everybody's getting poison. Nobody makes it out alive. Yes, come on. All right, so his next Pokemon should be Trap Inch, so Bagel will actually be really good there. Nice. So we're gonna switch to Bagel and just spam Water Gun because it should be a ground type, I think. No, I know. Trap Binge is definitely a ground type. I know that for sure. Level 9. Ooh, that's actually kind of scary. I should supersonic it. Not gonna lie. It might no bite. But I don't think it, it, it shouldn't no bite. There's no way it knows bite. I say right before it uses bite. Yep. Oh. I didn't flinch, right? Okay. Okay, we got this. 
That was a little scary. Okay. Well, we've already gotten past where we were in the last playthrough, which is <laughs> great. I've only encountered two Gibbles. Neither one has wrecked my team, which has been a godsend. He's going to be the world's toughest trainer. I didn't even need to use any of my potions, which is helpful. We're going to go heal. All right, y'all. So do we do, do we do the grass to catch a Pokemon or should I do, uh, should I go for a Pokemon in the water? Should I use my rod? I'm going to leave that to you guys. Let's see. Cool. I think I'm going to put... Especially to catch a new Pokemon. We're going to put Boychin Wonder over here. Hopefully he can sing somebody to death. Alright, we got some trainers. There's two there. There's one there. All right, so should I should I do grass or should I do a, a rod? Which way should how should I catch the Pokemon? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, I kind of want to do grass, but the rod might be nice. Let's do the rod. Screw it. Okay, not helpful, and I'm gonna be really mad with whatever I could have caught in the grass. You watch. Actually, ooh, hold on, I need to find out. We need to do some research. Is this the same route as the one above? I can't remember off the top of my head. Does it connect? Like, does there, are the route names the same? This is route. 203. No, no, no. Okay, they're different. Cool. So before I catch this, I need to make sure <laughs> I'm not cheating. All right. Any names, Paul? Any name ideas for uh, a cascoon if and when we catch it? See, we're gonna do we'll toss one right Let's see what happens did not happen interessante lady poison love it I actually do love that that's actually gonna be really good and I think this will open up my ability to use poison before Fido will, which is nice. All right, we're going to pound it. Got to be careful with Clef, uh, with Boychin Wonder, because till it evolves into a Clefairy, it's going to have really bad stats. Clefairy's not a lot like great by any means, but it will have way better stats than Clef. Uh. This thing is going to be weak. All right, here we go. Cascoon, though, is going to evolve at 10 into a Dustox, which is going to have, what, Gust, I feel like? I think it has Gust. It'll probably learn, what, Poison Powder. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, no. No, 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 no. We're going to we're gonna sing it one more time. Come on! <laughs> Can't be too hasty. And I should be able to get something in the cave. Caves count as a different than a route. Basically, it has to, by different route, uh, I'm playing by, I've, I've looked this up numerous times, whether or not caves or other areas should be counted as like a route that they're in next to. Oh no, it has shed skin. Why didn't that work last time? That's weird. But uh, from what I saw, a lot of people use the Nuzlocke rule, which is basically by different route. It means it has to have a different um, area that you captured it 
in it. Oh, what's up, debt fan? Hey, hey. Uh, it has to have a different um, area in its location that you caught it on its summary thing. So caves will uh, be allowed. How you doing today, debt fan? Good to have you back. Oh God, this is miserable. Oh no, 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 no. Shed skin's good though. I like shed skin. But I don't think it's gonna keep it as a dust ox. Which sucks a little bit. It's very interesting that it worked on the last one, but not on this one. Or not, not on the first one. Shed skin? No, no shed skin. Okay. Interesting. Oh no, it did use shed skin. Okay. I'm in school, almost done. Be back in five. All right, all right. Well, all right, Paul, this is a tough one. I'm going to lob one more Pokeball just, just cause. Every finger I have is crossed. Nice. All right, Paul, Lady Poison, it is. Come on, yes. All right, here we go. We're gonna go with Lady Space. Is that enough for poison? Uh, no. So we're gonna actually do it from here. Lady Poison. Nice. There you go, Paul. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, cool. We don't need to catch it. We don't need to fight any other Pokemon right now. Okay. We're gonna go heal up. We're gonna fight some trainers. And I'll probably end it at the cave today. Sort of Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Thank you. All right. First trainer we're going to fight is this lovely lady. This lass. Oh, just kidding. I was avoiding her for nothing. Okay. Let's see this guy. Full of energy because something about a Pokemon. Oh, Michael! Look at that! With those shorts, too. Nice. Okay, a Psychic. Actually, I think he's normal flying. Which is interesting. We're just gonna pound and pray. It's identifying me. I could send in... Larvitar actually would be good here. But I want Boyuchin Wonder to get to level 9. I really want Boyuchin Wonder to evolve as soon as possible, but he hasn't gained a single level yet. I caught him at level 8. It's gonna be at least a few levels before he evolves, because the good thing about him is he evolves with friendship. But because the Nuzlocke rules mean you can't let them faint, means I shouldn't have any issue getting his friendship up. Because they lose friendship when they die if they faint, but since I can never let them faint, it shouldn't they should constantly get friendship, you know? Oh, we're gonna switch to Fido and double kick this Zigzagoon. Even though I should switch into Cascoon. Or uh, Lady Poison, as it were. Let's see, we got Double Kick. This should be a one-hit KO. Yup, didn't even need the second kick. Get out of here, Ziggy. I do like a Zigzagoon, though. Okay. Oh, nice.
Dun 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 dun. What is it gonna be? Level seven? Tyrogue. I really wish Wingle would learn a flying move. Oh, this is a bad combo. We gotta get him out of here. Um, we're gonna put Bagel in because fighting shouldn't be effective against it. Oh, but it only knows tackle. Interesting. Tyrogue is a really cool Pokemon that was released, what, Gen 2, I want to say? Um, or was it... Was Hitmontop Gen 2? I can't remember. One of them was. And it basically is a pre-evolved form, and it can evolve into the... It's the only way to get uh, Hitmontop, but it can also evolve into Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, depending on how you raise its stats, which is really cool. But it also isn't a great Pokemon, so... <laughs> Nice. Yes. Okay. Bagel might go to level 10 here. No. No. Should I have healed? Maybe. All right, we're gonna put out um, Larvitar, just in case it knows Peck, which I feel like it does. Yep. How many Pokemon does she have? Two or three? This should do at least half damage, at least. Nice. Oh, I haven't put a Cascoon up yet. You know what? I gotta do that. We gotta put Lady Poison up there on the screen, y'all. Or... Yeah, it's this one. We're gonna... Boop. Cascoon, upload, resize. Uh, yeah, we'll switch to Lady Poison so Lady Poison can get some XP points. Image, set image, upload image, select file, submit. We're gonna do this. We got a poison team going on here. Poison flying, I guess. Save it. There we go, y'all. We have a Cascoon on the team now. Gotta open chat back up. There we go. Oh, it's a swine up. It's an ice type. Um. In that case, we'll go back into fuck class. Here we go. Electricity. I wish I had an electric type. I'm thinking it probably knows like icy wind. But it doesn't matter because it's dead. Who cares what it knows?
Oh, Cam's about to be mad at me. We have to kill a Sand Shrew. <laughs> He's not going to be happy. Cam's favorite Pokemon is Sand Shrew. Yeah, sorry, Cam. It has to be done. Oh, look how cute it is. I can't catch it, Cam. I'm not Team Rocket. I can't steal their Pokemon. Sad. Look how cute it is, too. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, that's nothing. Turn away, Cam. Don't look. Don't look, Cam. Close your eyes. Shut the shut the monitor off. All right, the damage is done. You can look again. Do other Shanshu sprites have it on all fours? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. Oh, there's one more trainer. I think that's the only Sandshrew Spite. Oh, yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen it on all fours besides that one. Yeah. All right, we're going to heal. We're going to go do this uh, this last trainer battle. Hopefully get uh, Cascoon and Boichin Wonder. Lady Poison and Boichin Wonder up a level. It was. It looked really cute on all fours. I still remember Pokemon uh, Let's Go. I, oh, I kind of want to do a Nuzlocke of that game. That'd be fun. Um, but I love when Sandshrew follows you and does his little, like, uh, run like that. No, no, or is it he spin? I can't remember if he spins or if Sand Slash spins. I'm pretty sure Sandshrew does a little prance behind you, like, to, to run with you. I think Sand Slash rolls like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch... Lady Poison to the front. Oh, what do we got? What, what was in the grass that I could have caught? Oh, a Remoraid actually could have been kind of lit. I'm pretty sure Remoraid evolves into what? Octillery? That could have been nice. It would have sucked early, but it would have been nice. Octillery is not a bad Pokemon whatsoever. Well... Welp. <laughs> Remoraid, don't make me switch out. All right, you did it. You did it, Remoraid. You made me do this. I want you to remember this. Damn, Remoraid. Didn't even want to fight you. You're ready to die. Have you said your goodbyes yet? Let's go, Fido. One more double kick. Murder it. Lady Poison, level six. Four more till it evolves. Fido, did you learn Poison Sting? Not yet. Damn it. Uh, we're gonna be reckless. Because I want to be. And I can be. One Pokemon, probably level 8 or 7. Ghastly. Ooh. If I can catch a Ghastly, my... Oh, but I can't evolve it into a Gengar. If I can catch a Gengar... Phew, I will be absolutely happy. Um, we're gonna go into Bite. Ooh. Come on. Nice! Is that enough to get fuck class to 10? To level 7? No, it's not enough. Yeah, you're not ready for the gym challenge, youngster. Go home. Buy some pants. 
then come back and we'll talk. These youngsters out here wearing short shorts. I cannot wait till Larvitar learns a rock move. Flying types will be out of luck. Come on, fuck class. I'm really bummed that in Pokemon games, rock types always have low, um, rock moves have low accuracy. It kind of sucks. I wish there was like, like the lower, uh, Oh, no, no. I don't think there's anything wrong with shorts. I think I'm 10 years old, right? They're youngsters compared to me. These like five year olds are wearing like three inch shorts, Cam. They running around all, you know, unsupervised, just asking to get beat up on thinking that they're good or something. Look at him with his level seven ghastly. Get out of here and come back when it's level. I don't know. They need to be a lot, lot higher than that to beat me. To be honest though, I think I wore, does anybody, <laughs> I don't think anybody else did this. My mom was an LL Bean mom. I wore like these tiny, tiny, tiny. I would say I'm a tall person and I was tall as a kid. And I would say these were like three inch shorts. Like they were tiny shorts, but it was like part of an ensemble. It was like a striped shirt and like these LL Bean uh, sweat short type material. And my mom would make me wear them and I felt ridiculous in them. And I was way too old to be wearing them too. I was like 13, 14. Ugh. Don't get me wrong though, I wear my shorts now. Unabashedly. Jean shorts. God's gift. What do we got? Uh, swine up. All right, so this should get me to level seven with Lady Poison. Who are we gonna put in though? We'll put in, we'll put in Boy Wonder. See if we can pound our way through this. Please, 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 please. Okay, we got this fight. Easy. What's up? You on the couch? You on this play? Where is he? Is he on the bed? Oh, he's just tired. Our puppy is tired. He's on the bed. Yes! All right, Boy Wonder level nine. Lady Poison level seven. Love to see it. Awesome. Oh, Madeline. Sorry that I had to be so mean to you and destroy your dreams of being a Pokemon master. Lady Ba. I love Ladian. For how bad Ladian is, I love Ladian. I love the it looks so cool. Oh, I love it so much. Comet Punch? Yes. No. Alright, only two damage. Cool. We're gonna go heal. We're going to go save state because apparently I can't save the game anymore, even though I erased the file that was previously on the cartridge. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I would like to rest. I'm probably, you know what? I think I'm going to buy Pokeballs 2. Because I don't trust myself. I think I have, what, four? I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Especially as Pokemon our levels are getting higher. Here we go. Four missed messages. Yikes. Bye. Pokeball. Uh, let's get... Is it still... Do I still get um, a Premier Ball? Yes! Alright, cool. Fun fact, kids. Always buy 10 Poke Pokeballs in... Uh, 
I, in uh, sets of 10. I think in the newer games, even if you buy more, as long as you buy them in increments of 10, you get uh, a premier ball for every 10. So it's 11 Pokeballs for the price of 10. It doesn't make sense to buy, you know, 20 if you could buy two sets of 10 and get 12 Pokeball or and get a uh, 22 Pokeballs, you know? All right, here we go. We're going to save state. Hold on. We're going to save state as DS1. Then we're going to save state as Cool. All right. Um, there we go. We're going to pause this. I'm going to go back to chatting. We're going to go back here. We're going to skip to a random part. There we go. Um, thank you so much to uh, all of the new people. Paul, thank you. You have been a blessing. I love talking with you. Uh, Vio, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, and everybody else who came back, that fan, Brett, thank you so much. Um, I will be cutting it here. I had planned to go longer, but I forgot I had my book club today, so I have to get off. I have to hop into my book club. So, uh, I will be back tomorrow at 5 to play some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So that's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so the same time I started today, I'll be starting tomorrow. Uh, and then we have more stuff for the rest of the week. So keep a lookout for that. You can find all that information in my discord, uh, under my stream schedule, uh, which you can feel free to join. What is it? Discord cam. Boom. Feel free, uh, to hop on in there. Oh, I literally posted it right after cam dead. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can see what I'm up to. I've been playing games with people in there, so that's really fun. So if you ever want to hang out and play game, definitely hit me up in there. Um, as well, you can check my Twitter for any, you know, actual updates. I usually tweet when I'm going live. I usually tweet before I go live. So you can always check there. It's also just Mike Rocker 68. But again, thank you for being here. Seriously appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.